Did you know that your body talks to you? Question is, are you listening? Hey there, Blake here. And if you're curious about carnivore or considering starting this journey, I recommend you head over to carnivore.community slash reset. I have set up the seven day carnivore reset just for you. Did I say? Oh no. Let's talk about that. Your body talks to you. What does that even mean? Well, when you are on this carnivore journey for a little while, you're going to notice some things about yourself that begin to signal different things. And it's just really cool. It's really, really cool. I'll never forget. I'll share this story with you from my own journey. I'll never forget when I started and you've heard, many of you have heard this story before. I, I first started and I was eating every day. I was eating three meals a day and though they were carnivore meals. And so I would eat breakfast in the morning and I had my scrambled eggs and bacon or and or sausage patties. And I would make them every morning before work. And one morning when I made my scrambled eggs and my sausage and my bacon, I think that I was going through the keto flu at this point or some kind of meated version or my body was trying to talk to me. And it was telling me something about my body that I did not know about my body until that point. And it, I believe 100% that my body was trying to tell me that I did not need to be eating right now. I know that's so strange. I know that sounds weird. Like, why would you not eat breakfast? I know there's a lot of possible intermittent fasting haters out there, but if you don't know, I do one meal a day, so oh mad. But like, I didn't understand, I just didn't get why was I, it almost made me sick. Like I was eating the eggs, trying to eat them, just like, oh, oh gosh, I can't eat another bite. Even the sausage and the bacon, I just couldn't do it. And so I, at that point, I said, you know what? I'm going to not eat breakfast. And I did just fine. I went down to two meals a day at that point, And I would eat like a burger patty at work. And then I would come home and I would have something for supper. And again, it just got to the point where I wasn't even hungry at lunch. I was staying hydrated. I was drinking water. I was having my electrolytes. And it got to the point, and even still is this way today, where the hunger pangs are very minimal. Like I'll have a little bit. And then I'll drink some water and they'll be gone. But this is a really cool way that your body tells you, hey, you don't actually need that right now. I've still got some reserve that I'm working with. And you really don't need to eat right now. You really don't. And that's just mind blowing to me because, you know, we are so used to, especially in America, we're, I mean, we've been told heck to eat even six times a day, you know, not, not just the three meals a day. Now they're saying throw in three snacks throughout the day. And it's just like going from that. Cause I felt like I did that. I would, I remember this. I would back when I was on third shift, I remember I would eat supper. I'm going from my shift to mornings because I was on third shift. So I would eat supper at home. I would wake up, maybe eat something before work. Then I would, well, I would wake up around four or five and be up till I went to work. So I would eat supper, normal supper time. And then I would eat a snack at work on first break. I would eat lunch. I would eat another snack and it was always candy. It was always crap. Third shift is why I was 280, what, 289.6. Why did I forget my starting weight? 289.6. And then I would leave work. I would get some Taco Bell breakfast or Hardee's breakfast, bring it home. My wife and I would eat together. I would go to sleep, which is also not good eating right before you go to sleep. But Alas, so just eating so much and we don't even need that. We don't even need it. Our bodies know when we need it, when we truly need it. And you've got to, at this point in your journey, you, you will start to listen to your body. And I hope that you actually will listen and you won't force yourself to do something that your body's begging you not to do anymore. And so here are some things that 
maybe we'll help you. I want you to, maybe on a scale of one to 10, one being like hungry, 10 being full, check in with yourself, maybe throughout meals or throughout the day where you say, okay, I've ate a little bit now and where am I at on a scale of one to 10? Well, I'm at a five, so eat a little bit more. All right, now where am I at during the meal? All right, I think I'm, a li- I'm at an eight. Okay, a little bit more, all right, that's fine. Okay, I'm at a 10, I'm full now. And then you stop, right? You stop, you eat until you're comfortably stuffed and then you stop. That's a little, that's a, a good way to be helpful. And then throughout the day, say, all right, how hungry do I feel right now on a scale of one to 10? Well, I feel like a four. Well, then what you need to do is you need to think about like, what are some things that you can do to, to prove that? Okay, you say you're at a four hunger level right now. All right, what are, what's something you could do to prove that? Well, drink some water, maybe a bottle or so of water. See if you're still at a four. Give yourself a little bit of time. See if you're still at a four. If you are, hey, go eat some bacon. Maybe have some ground beef. Have a slice of cheese. You know, do whatever you need to do because you're listening to your body. But if you, you know, drink that bottle of water and you say, okay, I wasn't really hungry. I was just thirsty because that can happen where you're not really hungry at all. Your body's just thirsty. Then you don't eat. You say, okay, yeah, I was at a four, but I'm actually now I'm at a 10. I'm good. I'm fine. I found that that that's what happens to me is I'll think that I'm hungry. I feel those little hunger pangs, you know, and then I'll go and drink a, uh, some water and it, it goes away. It completely goes away and I'm able to do my OMAD one meal a day just fine. So it's, it's just important for us to listen and to reflect on how, wh- what's our body trying to tell us? Is it telling us that I'm not really, I'm not really feeling steak today. I'm not really feeling pork today. I'll share this story with you. I remember we were, uh, we had some things in our freezer we were trying to, you know, get work through and we made some pork chops and, and I was uh, kind of excited and I bit into it and I was just like, this ain't it, this ain't it. And so I just kind of put it away and went back to it another time and I devoured it. But in that moment, for some reason, my body was like, nope, it's not pork right now. It's not. You're good right now. And so I didn't finish it. And when I came back to it, I was ready and it was great. But you got to be able to listen to your body so that you can hear those things. Super, super important. All these things and more I share in my seven day carnivore reset. You can find that at carnivore.community slash reset. I hope that you've enjoyed this little series on Carnivore 101. I know that there's a whole lot of other things that you need to know on this journey.